Hello, my fellow anti-bottom fighters, and welcome back for more Luxor with Conan's board. Ah, uh, in the shadow of the pyramid. This is another stage I actually love, and I didn't have a chance to say this in the previous one because previously this isn't too bad a stage, but now I'm gonna say this. This stage blocks you and intertwines you near the end, just like freaking Kufu's Revenge, another stage I love. Thankfully, it isn't as bad as Kufu's Revenge, but uh, it's still mean, and as for that, it deserves my... Oh, I hate this stage rating. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm serious when I say this stage is bad, even if it doesn't look too bad now. Just wait till they get close to the end. Because I never actually let it get close to the end in any stage I let it play. That's why it doesn't seem too bad. Maybe I'll get a chance to demonstrate sooner or later. Okay, calm down. I said calm down! You're doing the opposite of calming down, Konis! <laughs> oh well. I never listen to my own subconscious. My subconscious tell me to do this and I'm like, Nah, no! Yeah, it's gonna bite me one day. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Yep, it intertwines just like, and it makes it hard to shoot. Oh boy. There, okay, phew. I don't want anything getting near the pyramid. No, thank you. Okay, it's being lenient with the parts because I'm scoring change. Basically, it's psychological. When the things are getting close to a pyramid, you want to clear them and you technically won't have enough time to score. You have the time or patience to score combos and change, so you'll notice you'll actually get power ups less. A lot less when they are near the pyramid. Like you see, now I'm scoring power ups that it doesn't when I have my own sleep time to like clear the sphere. Okay, I must admit, I really like this blue gem. It's pretty dang sweet. Okay. Okay, good so far. Also, I like the shape of this level. It's shaped like a pyramid. Oh, there, good. You can set up a tree chain like that if it's the very last line. Basically, you just add an additional spear to the end that's the same color, and then BAM! And you'll probably get a power from a tree chain. Also, unlike Kufu's Revenge, this stage, I swear Kufu Revenge rigs it because I swear the colors they give you are, tr are deliberately designed to uh, throw you. I swear that, seriously. Like here you see I'm getting okay colors unlike Kufu's Revenge. But the, the, mark my words, if it actually gets close to the end, the, this stage is actually quite brutal because it intertwines exactly like Kufu. Oh, you, can you give me green? Fine, fine. Uh, that color bomb was useless. All because I cleared the green. <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down. Okay, you have 16 lives. Gee, that's quite a bit. You need as many lives as you possibly can. Oh boy. Trust me. You're gonna need a lot of them. For the end game. The end game is brutal. See, that's what I mean. It would have blocked off that yellow. Oh boy. I let this thing get near the end. Oh, what, what have I done? Alright, now you gotta see in the, sh in the shadow of the pyramid. It's basically in the shadow now. You can't hit... Uh, you can't hit anything. Oh, line merge. Well, that was... Okay. I remember something similar happening in... Uh, in... 7-5. So, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna take it. Okay. Stop. When you have time to set up uh, combos and change, you can pretty much uh, 
score power-ups by the dozen. As you can see, I scored like a ton of them. And there we go. Level beaten. Ooh. I guess it isn't gonna show its true brutalness until 12-6. But there was a little hint of how brutal 9-6 can get. Next we have 9-7. This stage is honestly easier than the stage with stages before, seriously. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's kind of like... Imahawk's Folly, Night S4. It doesn't belong here. I say that the Pillar of Us Iris, the very first extra level, is still one of the hardest ones. It could be outranked by the newest one I've played so far, which is, uh. What's it called? Den of the Hyenas, the stage 8 extra stage, but meh, not yet. Den of the Hyenas is brutal, but uh, not too brutal if you know what you're doing. Okay, 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 calm down. Perhaps I shouldn't bash a stage too much. Well, I missed that. Like a champ, Konis! You, you missed it because you were too busy paying attention to the level and to your commentary. <laughs> Perhaps you should stop commentating on YouTube. Yeah, 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 shut up the rock. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's try clearing this. Uh, basically any level that gives you a vertical, I mean a horizontal near the end, a nice long horizontal, is pretty much gonna be easy because you have all the time in the world to clear the spear. So basically levels that block off that final horizontal next to the pyramid, like Kufu's Revenge in the Shadow of the Pyramid, uh, Inundation of the Now, those are the brutal ones. The ones that have the sh a short horizontal segment before the end. Okay, go, got him. Okay. Okay, there we go, power up. You want to try to set up change and combos, like I said. They're more useful than you think. The only problem, the only time where I wouldn't recommend doing this is if it's really too freaking close to the pyramid, like Kufu's Revenge. Yeah, I'm gonna reference that stage for the rest of forever. Because that stage really sucks. That stage is a huge difficulty site. Like seriously, it doesn't belong in the game. It, it's like an expert level. Okay, let's see. And I'm gonna score the power up soon enough. There. I missed it like a champ. Yeah, you should stop your commentary corner. Shut up, the rock. Uh, that's it, I like commentating on videos. It will be no fun if it's just a gameplay and without me commentating. Even for a game like this where commentary might not be the best, I still say, I still stand by that. Okay, it's done. They're not. I finally met. The moment you only get what back to one segment on screen is really sweet because that means you pretty much. Basically, the only tense part of Luck Sauce are when there are more than one segment on screen. That's why in the Shadow of the Pyramid didn't give me trouble because I managed to clear a load of those segments before they even. before they pose a threat. Calm down. There, got him. Nice, nice. Okay, sweet. Color bomb. That's a pretty sweet one too. Reverse. Ah, nice. Okay, let's stop them. Stop them in their tracks, eh? You ain't going anywhere, you little scrap. You know what, I'm just gonna call him Scruff, I don't care. I don't care anymore, I don't know, I don't care what they're called. Scruff is the easy way to pronounce those things that are pushing the spears. An easy way to remember them too. And it's almost 100% for this poor little set hit. I'm gonna add some additional balls to ensure I get 100%. There we go. 
And clear. Wow. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, what's my bonus? 4,350. Sweet. Ah, uh, and now it's time for the extra stage of Stage 9 City of the Day. Cobra Twilight. Oh wow, I really remember this stage. This stage is really cool. It's the most beautiful stage in the entire game. It is also ridiculously hard because you see that short horse. You heard me ranting about the short segments near the end thing I was talking about earlier. Well, this stage is full of them. You saw how pathetically tiny the horizontal is before the end. Yeah, deal with it. Now this stage is actually quite brutal. I remember this being one of the harder or maybe even harder stages in the game. But uh, because it has curves everywhere, lightning is freaking essential here because um, you see it's, a, it's quite vertical oriented actually. Yeah, so the shape of this level is kind of like a 9S5, the Burku of the Goddess, but um, yeah, it's pulled off in a much more threatening way here. Got it. Yeah, this level looks really sweet. I remember the pseudo sequel to this game, Luxor Omen, Omen Rising, had some really beautiful looking levels as well. I want to say they're kind of inspired by this level. The designs of the levels in that game were really sweet. I, I, that much I remember, I played that game as well as a kid. That was the first Luxor game I ever beat on beginner mode. Yep, I beat that game before I beat the first one. I blame Kurufu's Revenge. Okay, it's really hard to hit spears in this, yeah see, tiny horizontal, tiny loop-like area. Yeah, the shape of this level is pretty mean. It makes it kind of hard to aim your spears. Okay, now I shouldn't have led all the way there. Let's try to clear it, eh, Conus? Okay, okay, okay. Calm down, calm down. Okay, green color bomb, which was near useless to the almost everything is blue and purple here. Haha, <laughs> chain. I mean blue and red. Gee, am I color blind? Ah, nice. Even though we got a line merge, it was unintentional. Yeah, the curves and uh, the shape of this level makes it really hard to aim stuff. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's try to beat this level. Oh, man. Plus, it's helped that they're not giving me the colors I want. I mean, it doesn't help. It said this level is sweet looking. Look at it, it's really sweet. Okay, now I'm getting scared. Yeah, if it gets down here, it's really hard to aim. Okay, come down. Okay, good. Should be pretty safe now. And... Speed shot! Yeah, essential. I swear this little loop here, you see this little loop near the middle? Kinda screws you over. It's very hard to aim through that loop. Unless you have speed shot. Okay, there you go. Nice, got it. Ah, it had to move right at that moment, didn't it? Okay, yeah, I remember this level being really brutal. This is the first appearance of the level too, Corporate Tile of Twilight. It's only gonna get worse the next time it shows up. Yeah, in the first appearance of extra levels, they usually don't move too fast. Well, how do you explain me nearly dying? Possibly dying, oh crud. Okay, good, got that chain. No, it's needed. 
Yeah, this level is not fun. Not fun at all. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, boy. Oh, joy. Okay. Reverse. Okay, a hundred percent. Much needed, dear freaking lord. Oh joy. Okay, reverse. As I said, if you have enough time, set up your chain, set up your combos, get the power-ups, get them as far away from the pyramid as possible. You let these things near the pyramid, you are just asking for trouble. Okay, yeah, it's done. Okay, there. And let's get the diamond. And that's stage 9 complete. We're 3 quarters of the game done. Ooh, 9 as 8. Cobra Twilight. Ooh, I like this level, but the design is a troll. Alright. Now, next episode, we're going to do the 2 digit levels now. Stage 10, Up the Cataracts. If you enjoyed this episode of Luxor with Conus Bot, do feel free to leave a like. Or be an anti-bottom fighter and subscribe. And next time we're gonna carry on with the pseudo endgame. See you guys then. Next time on Conus Board. <laughs> Conus, how are you liking my delightful last stretch? Oh shut up the Rob. This is all your fault. This is all your fault. I never beat this game as a kid, okay? Never! It's all because of that stupid Kofu's Revenge and this final stretch right here. Can you see the ridiculousness? <laughs>